Our team coverage continues tonight with Baton Rouge police saying activist Sadie Roberts Joseph's death was not a hate crime. Tonight, Ron Bell is in the East Baton Rouge Parish prison charged with her murder. Police say the convicted sex offender was a tenant in one of Roberts Joseph's rental properties and owed her $1,200 in back rent. An emotional turn and an already heartbreaking loss. Tonight, her family is grateful for the outpouring of support. This great job that was done was done in the midst of a hurricane, in the midst of a storm. It was a storm for us in the midst of a storm. That storm has passed for the family of Sadie Roberts Joseph. Baton Rouge police saying this man killed the beloved civil rights activist. As much as I'd like to be at home right now, just wallowing in my own grief, I went, cannot do that to her. She worked so hard. She pushed. She got everything that she could out of the 75 years that she lived. Her daughter shedding more light on the impact her mother had on this community. While many questions still remain unanswered about her death, her family is just ready to move forward. I'm still numb. I'm not angry. I'm not, for several days I wasn't anything. I wasn't anything but numb. Um, but for those who were and are angry, live a better life. Give of yourself to your community to make the whole better. Now she went on to say there's also solace in knowing and feeling that everything that could possibly be done was being done. Now the man accused of killing Sadie Roberts Joseph is charged with second degree murder.